Hey, what's going on everyone? All right, today we've got a special treat. We're doing a little bit of music with painting. Um, if you saw the title, then I'm guessing you already know what's going to go on. But first, I'm going to play this uh, tune for you. Just talk about it quickly and then play another one. And um, yeah, I'll show how I like to connect things between music and art. All right, check out this first tune. It's uh, from Pearl Jam. It's a song called Daughter. And the tuning is D G D G B D. Right, complete uh, turnaround from uh, your standard tuning, E A D G B E. Um, so, what does this do? Well, it just gives us a little bit of uh, different textures in music. Let's check this tune out. released internationally in 1993 and uh, was not released in the United States until 1995 um, which I think is pretty interesting we had two years where uh, we just didn't know about that song and I think 95 was probably about the time that I heard it um, and like I said again the tuning is D G D G B D um, it is an alternate tuning and that's why it has that alternate sound all right let's check out the next tune all right, so I got the other guitar all tuned up. Uh, this one is tuned to C, G, C, G, C, E, right? Another alternate tuning. And what does an alternate tuning do? Well, it gives us alternate patterns and alternate sound, alternate texture. Um, yeah, this song is called Bird in My Hand by Soundgarden. Uh, R.I.P. Chris Cornell. We miss you, man. Uh, this song was released in 1996, and it's off the record down on the upside. Let's see if we can do it. Can you hear? I can hear him every time I can hear him. Yeah, just such a great riff. Uh, C G C G C E C G C E C E, right? Very Lydian sounding. Yeah, so, um, yeah, again, an alternate tuning guitar. How do I put that together with Matisse? Let's talk about it. All right, so I got a few notes here, and let's see here. We're talking about Henry Emile Benoit Matisse, better known as Henry Matisse, okay? Uh, he was born in 1869 and lived to 1954, just to give you an idea of the time period that we're covering. Um, he was a draftsman, a printmaker, a sculptor, a painter, and some of the movements um, that he went through were Favism, Modernism, and Post-Impressionism. Um, I'm a huge fan of the fav Favism. Um, I remember the first time I saw those works, I was just blown away. Uh, I'll see if I can get a picture here. Yeah, give you an idea what that looks like. So to me, these alternate tunings always remind me of the pattern work the coming together of different patterns that I see in Matisse's work, right? So the work that I'm looking at today and what inspired me for this painting is Matisse's Odalesque. The Odalesque was um, a genre of painting that became very popular in France. And basically what it is, it was believed that these, uh, these women, well, first of all, the Odalesque, here's my definition, is a female slave or concubine or attendant in a harem, and these were found in the Turkish seraglio, right? So a seraglio is a living quarters um, that would be in the Ottoman household, right? Um, so the French believed that these um, women were basically just lounging around, you know, and this, there's, a, there's a bit of a controversy as to how it was romanticized. Um, some say they were female slaves or concubines. Um, you know, it, and it was believed in France that these women were just lounging around, basically waiting around for someone to, uh, to seduce them, 
right? Um, now, we know that's not entirely true. It was just something that became a thing in France in, like, say, like the, the late 20s. And, um, yeah, so a lot of artists kind of latched on to that. Now, there were other artists, um, such as Delacroix, that went to Turkey, you know, and, and for themselves witnessed um, what these harems were like. And they were nothing like that. Really, uh, what they were were just the living quarters where the women and children um, were separated from the men. Um, that's pretty much it. But look at some of these works by Matisse. Uh, here's Odalesque with red trousers, Odalesque with gray trousers, and Odalesque in a yellow robe. Now, each three of these, if you notice, they're just a combination of textures because Matisse grew up in a family that, um, you know, they were in the textile business, so patterns were a large part of his upbringing. And what I love about his work, and how I feel I link these two when I hear alternate tune songs, such as the one I played in the beginning of the video, is it's like patchwork coming together that doesn't really work, but it does work when it all comes together. Now, Matisse is known to have said that he's able to do this by always including black and white. If he can have white in the painting and black in the painting, the rest of the colors that are either consonant or dissonant with each other, they will work. And I truly believe that. And so that's what I'm trying to do and emulate in this work. Let's take a look at the work. <laughs> 